Caddis Maximus here. This is just a quick video I made at the used computer parts store. I picked up uh, one of these glorious Model O mice, a glorious GMMK RBGB serial number starting with 201. This is the first generation, but I guess online they're known as Re or software community knows Rev2. We have obviously I have RGB. Didn't know much about the keyboard, but they had like a software where you could customize the colors. Ran the software, said I need a firmware update, and then the keyboard was just black. It still would work and type. The caps lock and num lock buttons would work, or lights would work, but the RGB just went away. Obviously, I got it back. I'd like to do a quick shout out to this Reddit user here, which is uh, <laughs> Toasty Bun, because this is what led me down the kind of the rabbit hole of getting this fixed in the last since glorious released the software there's actually another reddit post where glorious responded they said we don't know what's going on it's like it's not quantum physics figured out how to fix it so this is a youtube video to one put a link on reddit to the post i made so to save other people hassle and so the glorious might see it and one maybe send me some hardware for fixing showing how to fix this problem pretty easily which is their own mistake their mistake essentially is when you download the glorious software it's from their website you get this GMMK1 when it runs it says that your software is old you need to update and it actually executes this file here which you can't see the whole darn name of executes this file which is a firmware update that first number is actual CPU chip in it which is a Sonics made chip the second number is uh, the two secondary LED drivers and they're basically applying the Rev3 firmware onto the Rev2 board and so the CPU still works but it can't talk to the LED drivers anymore. The fix is reapplying the old firmware which was scary but to that uh, toasty bun reddit user led me down the rabbit hole. You go to the Sonics you'll get a I'll include links to this the Sonics flasher this is super simple you go to this link it actually has releases. So you just download the click and download the latest release. Once you're done, you'll go back to the, this headquarters here, and then they have this mecha mechanical keyboard database. I'll include a direct link, but we're going to go to stock firmwares. This uses what's known as a 260 series chip. Come on now, camera. Although, if you have a 240 series with the same issue of some other brand of keyboard, uh, check it out. They have all these firmwares. They only have apparently the full size firmware. These are the factory downloaded firmware. Since I ended up, I actually have the full size one. I knew this was really going to work. The Rev3 is like the newer one with the dial. The Rev2 is the serial number 200. The Rev3, I think, has serial number starts with the one. Mine starts with a 201. This is what fixed it. Um, you can also try these Techware because apparently they use the same chips. Those are also easily downloadable. When you click on one, you can just get a link to straight up download it. The frustration with uh, GitHub is these keyboard bootloaders, which you have to get because uh, Glorious use a cheaper 32 kilobyte memory chip instead of a 64. So if you don't do this right, you can actually make it to where the keyboard keys don't work. It's not detected by Windows, it's actually ruined. Um, so. Once you download the Sonics, you're not doing QMK, you're just using that Sonics pro Flasher program to reapply the factory firmware. So you have to create a GitHub account. I'm going to try to make a Google Drive because I did. The confusing thing about, I'll just mention this, is you get this, you go into the, like the actions, click on the latest update, and usually you can just download this. They're called artifacts. but the, hasn't made this an official release or easily downloadable. It's the person who edited this GitHub has done that. You're, if you log in, then you'll actually be able to click on this uh, pre-compiled jump loader. So that's why I made a Google Drive is just to include the basic jump loaders. It's just so annoying. Anyway, once you download that, you have these various jump loaders inside the full size, full and the, the one without the numpad, the TK10 keyless, same thing. So we have that file. We download the GMMK full uh, binaries plus some other stuff that I grabbed. Super simple. I was hoping to be less than five minutes. You'll just go into the keyboard flasher here. 
once you download that you'll run the Sonix keyboard flasher it'll detect your keyboard you'll click reboot to bootloader that took about 10-15 seconds 20 it took a little bit of time for that to work you just click on the bootloader once you do that then you immediately click on flash jump loader and when you do that's when you'll browse select the jump loader like in my case uh, jump loader or GMK full you'll flash that jump loader that's what tells it to load this is if you don't do this jump loader part you can break you will break the keyboard um, once you flash the jump loader you have to click refresh because then it doesn't have any firmware on it you'll just click this refresh button and it'll just detect the basic chip that it is it won't say glorious or any name brand on anymore as soon as you refresh it then you can click on revert to uh, stock firmware and that'll bring up another you know uh, file browser window and that's when you'll select the actual big the 30 kilobyte firmware files that you download from the stock firmware on github I did the rev2 applied that and it only took a second and just immediately the, the keyboard light started working again so anyway I really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. Super frustrating manufacturers after release software that they just didn't, it's obvious they didn't test that because it would have bricked the keyboards if they had. It's just insane. And then the fact that their support responses can't seem to figure out what the problem was, which is they're applying third gen firmware to their old second gen boards inappropriately and they should just pull the damn update off their website instead of causing a big hassle for people. Anyway. I really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Uh, until next time, Caddis Maximus out. Oh, and I'm going to do another thing. I kind of like this because you have all these different modes in the factory firmware. Each button is uh, th three different modes. You have all these wave modes, um, solid color. You have one mode, which I thought is pretty cool, which is when you hit a key it sends a wave out but if you press that again then you have this thing where if you press a key it just lights up kind of neat little functions and I uh, don't normally have it well sometimes I have it animating like this anyway just wanted to add that little bit it's kind of a neat keyboard I mean I got it because um, it had the replaceable switches this one happens to have uh, Gateron greens in it um, Aluminum deck keyboard that was pretty heavy and uh, you know really Has a nice sound wanted a decent keyboard from the junky one that I've been using and then After using a couple of days. Oh, I'll get the factory software and then have the LEDs just totally crap out. I was like what's going on here? Okay, see you guys next video. This is just kind of a much offbeat for my channel But hopefully it'll help some people out there